As far as video editing is concerned, there are some huge benefits to using cloud-based editing platforms. You can save a ton of time, but there are some downsides. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what they are and who they're best suited for to work out if they're right for you. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'll also cover my favorite online video editor and why it's so powerful. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that big subscribe button and all the links to everything that we discuss in this video, you can find linked in the description below. So let's jump into it. With internet speeds becoming faster and the level of content that people are producing, it's no wonder that online or cloud-based editing platforms are becoming more and more popular. They can have some huge benefits to workflows and editing efficiencies, but they're not without their downsides. So we're gonna start out by looking at the benefits and then we'll move into the downsides. Okay, so there's three primary benefits when it comes to online cloud-based editing solutions. And the first one is the online processing. So what that means is all the processing, all the number crunching, all the hard work that's normally done by your video editing system is actually done remotely by someone else's server or someone else's computer and all you need to do is log into that computer or to that platform using normally a web browser and all the hard work is done by another computer not the computer you're working on that opens you up to editing on what's called dumb systems or dumb terminals or computers without a lot of power. So you could even edit all your videos using something as low powered as a Chromebook or really any web browser would be fine. You can use your web browser on your phone, your iPad, really any device that you can use to log into that online platform will be enough to be able to edit your videos. So what that also means is you can save a heap of money on buying a really powerful video editing computer and just using something that's low powered or powerful enough to, to run a web browser to be able to edit your videos. So that's the first primary benefit. The second is collaboration. Now that your video files and your, your video editing infrastructure is in the cloud, it's really easy to share or give access to other team members that may be remote or really anywhere in the world. So this is really, really powerful because it means that you'll only need to get your footage to the cloud once and then it can be accessed by anyone that you give access to. The next level beyond that is that you can also share and assign different editing projects to different team members and you can work collaboratively even at the same time in some cases on different video editing projects. So that's really, really powerful. So whether you're just giving your team members access to review your videos or to jump in and edit them for you, this is a really awesome way to really streamline the editing process if you've got people working for you remotely. And the third primary benefit, which we did just start to touch on, is file management. The best part about online or cloud-based editing solutions is that you only need to get your files up to the cloud, and once they're up there, they can stay there, which means that you don't need to download your finished editing projects back to your computer before you can upload them to places like YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia. Most of them will have direct connection or direct upload from the cloud platform to your delivery platform, which saves you a heap of time in downloading your files, waiting for your internet, and then re-uploading them back to the platform that you'd like to deliver on. So there's a lot of power and a lot of flexibility once you've got your footage in the cloud. Now that leads us straight to the downsides or the negatives with cloud-based editing solutions. The first one is the internet speeds. So while internet speeds are getting faster and faster, if you don't have a good internet connection, then it's gonna be rather painful to get your footage up into the cloud, whether it's Dropbox, Google Drive, or direct to the platform of your choice to be able to edit your video files in the cloud. So the internet speed is probably the biggest critical element when it comes to online or cloud-based editing. And if your speed isn't up to scratch, then it's really not worth considering at this point. Number two is that the editing software, at least for now, is still rather basic. There is no full copy of Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut that you can log on and have access to a full professional video editing platform in the cloud. The platforms are definitely cut down, but they will allow you to do most critical video editing functions like trimming, like adding effects, like green screen, adding music and titles, and really just having the core functionality of video editing in there. So if you're expecting an Adobe Premiere Pro equivalent or a Final Cut equivalent in the cloud to create professional level videos, then it's definitely not there yet. So that rules out things like documentaries, probably music videos, and really any top or high-end videos that you're looking to produce. As for content for your website or for YouTube, the features in there could be more than enough 
for what you're looking to do. And the third downside is the performance. So it's important to keep in mind here that you are actually working remote. So if you are uploading 4K video files or high resolution 1080p video files, all the playback from all the platforms that I've tried are a low quality preview, almost like a proxy file. So the playback that you see is a pixelated version of your end result, which is hard to apply some effects and things because you won't know what they actually look like 100% until the video has rendered out and saved out to your cloud platform. Depending on the platform and the quality of your videos, it can take quite a while for the videos to save out to give you that preview. So the whole process can be a little clunky if you're gonna be applying a lot of effects, especially to high quality video files. But as for general editing, trimming and cutting and removing sections and moving sections around, you'll find the process will be pretty seamless. So those are, in my opinion, the benefits and the downsides of online cloud-based video editing solutions, at least for now. It's a pretty interesting space and it's amazing how fast it's growing, so it's definitely an area to keep an eye on. So ideally, who are these online editing platforms for and who can make use of them right away? Well, really, it's anyone that's looking to create online video content where they're working with teams remotely. So it could be that one person is capturing the footage and, and uploading it to the system, then you may, might have another person that's doing Doing the base cut or the first cut you might bring in a graphic designer to drop some graphics in you really can have multiple people working on your editing projects at the same time and sharing the projects without the need to all download the individual files and all the footage that's accompanying that project so the closest professional offering to that is the teams component of adobe premiere pro and it's nowhere near as seamless in that you still need to get the files to all the individuals that are going to be working on the project it is much better editing software but the process isn't as seamless even if you're going to be using proxy files or low resolution files for people to be editing in the different locations. And typically Adobe Premiere would be a much more expensive solution as well. Now these online cloud-based editing platforms wouldn't be ideal for someone that's looking to create really top level videos like documentaries, music videos, as we said earlier, or top level marketing or sales videos. Something that's really high quality, has a lot of huge files, and if you've got a slow internet connection, then it's going to be very difficult and very painful to work with some of the software that's out there at the moment, especially when you're looking at the feature set and the cut down features that you actually have in these online cloud-based editors versus something professional like Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, as far as these cloud-based video editing solutions are concerned, the clear standout after trying quite a few of them now is Wii Video. Now, it still has the same downsides that all cloud-based video editing platforms have, but there's three things that I love about it that are definitely worth sharing. The first is the seamless integration and connectivity that you've got with things like Google Drive, Dropbox, with Vimeo, even with Facebook and Instagram as well, to get your content from those platforms directly into Wii Video for editing. So that means if your files are already on those platforms, you don't need to download and re-upload your files to Wii Video. They can connect directly and to get your files in that way. Number two is the interface. It's really easy to use. It's really fast to edit a huge amount of video footage down to a small manageable size. And it even supports things like 4K videos as well. So really, really powerful and really easy to use. And the third one is the built-in effects. Now I was really blown away with some of these effects, especially things like the green screen or chroma key effect. So this effect on Wii Video actually worked way better than some paid video editing software like Camtasia. There was way more control and the end results were much, much better. So it's a pretty cool feature to have in there, especially for an online cloud-based platform. We'll have another video running through Wii Video in detail released shortly, and I'll link it up in the cards. For those of you who are still deciding if online editing platforms are for you, then my perspective is that I could definitely edit these YouTube videos, these weekly videos on Wii Video or on, an, on a cloud platform. But as for client or corporate work, it's not there yet as far as I'm concerned. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you click that big subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. And linked on screen now is a video talking about the best online video editing solution. I'll see you soon.